Waikato songstress Coral has always had a passion for music and knew from the get-go that she wanted to be a singer. Her soulful voice has been likened to Adele, Amy Winehouse and Jim Wigmore as well. And she released her debut album, My Addictive DNA, last year. Now she's just about to take off to LA to take, play, to take part rather in the World Championships of Performing Arts, where she will be competing against 55 other countries. And she is with us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Coral. Yes, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Your mum was a singer, wasn't she? So you were exposed to a lot of um, festivals and performances when you were younger. Yes, I grew up singing on stage for as long as I can remember. Wow. Can you remember the first song you ever sang? I think it was when I was six years old. Oh no, it was Happy Birthday. Oh, there That's you what go. my mum said. <laughs> she said on my first birthday, I sang it back to myself. <laughs> and when did you start figuring out that it might have been a career that you wanted to have? From a very young age, because I was surrounded by musicians, it always seemed like a very... Um, possible career for me so it's just been something that I've always done. And I saw you live the other day in Hamilton at the Navarra Lounge. That was very is, cool. Which is why I wanted you to come on the show and you did this little trumpet thing with your voice too. Yeah. Can you do yeah. that for us now? Oh my goodness. Can yep. you? Can you? Yeah. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Um. And honestly she sings and then just adds her own trumpet in. It's like a full band. It's amazing. I've been practicing it quite a bit. Oh, it's a bit of attention. So tell us a little bit about this competition. How did you get selected and what's it all about? Well, I was, when I was doing promotion for my album last year, my mum had been making a lot of little clips of the promotion that we were doing for it. And there's a radio station called Free FM in Hamilton and one of the scouts from the competition saw the video and just wrote to me on Facebook. Ooh, so you're yeah. heading over to LA? Yes. And how many performances do you have to do? Just the one or? I'm going to do, I'm doing six in total. I'm going to do four covers and then two original songs. And what happens if you win? What does it mean? Um, you get called the performer of the world. <laughs> and there's so many different opportunities with record labels and management deals and scholarships. So this is a really good chance at something that you've really dreamed of all your life. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, good luck. Thank you. I it's can't very wait. exciting. And yeah. you're performing your, one of your newer songs as well? Were you, were you um, yes, I'm doing a couple of new originals and some other songs that just kind of came to me and I was going to go, okay, I'll sing those ones. Awesome. <laughs> Cannot wait to hear you perform actually at Thank the end you. of the show. Thank you. Nice to have a quick chat. I'm going to look forward to uh, hearing that and, and hearing how Coral gets on in LA's World Championships of Performing Arts. Her album, My Addictive DNA, is available now and she's just about to release her latest single, which she's going to be performing for us here very, very soon. Yeah, you don't want to miss that.